All right, so now that our UI is done, we want to get into um, creating the logic and the PHP and the code to uh, connect to our database. All right, so in this chapter, we're going to start off with creating our database file, uh, which will hold our connection parameters and will connect through the MySQLi API. All right, so there's a, there's a bunch of different ways you can interact with your database. The original API was the MySQL API, which is now um, deprecated and um, not really safe. So you want to use MySQL I or something like PDO um, for interacting with your database. And what we're going to do, I'm not going to say is best practice, um, but I just want to um, just make it understandable for the people that are kind of just starting out with this stuff um, so let's do that we want to open up database.php you know what let me associate these files with notepad all right all right so php we want to open our tags Whoop, I don't know where that came from all right now for the most part, I don't add a closing tag when I'm done. Um, you don't have to. It's it's in some cases it's recommended that you don't, um, just to keep from messing with other files. I'm not sure the exact reason, but I very rarely close it if it's the end of the file. Obviously, if we're still putting HTML, we'll close it. Uh, but but most of the time I won't if it's the end of the file. Um, so the first thing we're going to do here uh, is Create connection credentials. Okay, so we're going to say DB host. Now I'm kind of um, assuming that most of you know at least the basics of PHP, how to assign a variable, um, how to call a function, things like that. Uh, but I will try to explain as I go. All right, so I'm going to create a couple variables here to hold the database um, user, the host, the password, things like that. In PHP, your variables need to start with a dollar sign. Um, this double slash here, this is a comment. All right, so I realize that a lot of you probably already know that, um, but some people may not. All right, so the host is going to be called localhost, and this is true 99% of the time when working on a, a server, um, even XAMP or WAMP or something like that. All right, so the next one is going to be the database name. Now, if you remember in the first, I believe it was the first video, all these have to end with semicolons as well. Uh, we created, I created a, a database called Quizzer. So that's what I'm going to use here. Okay, next is the user. And the user is root. And then we have the password. And this is where you're going to put your password. I just have something really simple. I think that was it. All right, so that's our parameters or our variables. Next, we want to create the MySQLi object. Okay, so we're going to use there's when dealing with MySQLi, you can use the procedural way or the object oriented way. All right, um, for instance, if you're using procedural, you would assign your variable to whatever MySQLi and to call a function, let's say the connect error function, it would be underscore um, something like that, MySQLi underscore error. When using the object oriented version, you use the, your, your object variable, and then like this, you need the arrow to call um, error. And this is the version we're going to use. We're not going to be using a lot of object oriented um, styles in this particular application uh, but we will later on down the line we'll actually create classes and things like that alright so we want to create this object mysqli 
is going to be equal to new MySQLi and then we simply want to pass in our credentials so db host and then we want db user and db pass and db name and this should all go in this order all right and then basically i'm just going to create a simple error handler So we'll say if MySQLI connect error, then we want to um, we want to print out print f connect failed. And then we're going to use these place placeholders, this percent s, all right. And then I'm going to do this forward slash n for a new line. And then let's see, the next one, we'll say mysqli. Whoop. Connect error, and then we just want to exit. So basically, if it doesn't connect, it's going to spit out this error, which will have the actual error code right here. So that's going to be our entire database file. So we just want to make sure we save that. And we're going to have to include this on every page that we want to use the database. All right. So an include is uh, really easy. Uh, let's just go to our index. Okay, so be before any of the HTML output, I'm going to say PHP include database.php, and that should include the file. Okay, so let's save that and go to the index page. Okay, so we have no errors so that means that it connected now if we go back into database and let's just change this database name to we'll just add in a, a letter so this database is not valid it's not there so we should get an error so let's save this and reload and now we get this unknown database message okay so this this output here is coming from this right here this var this object um, or this property connect error. All right, so we can see that we are connected. Let's just change this back to what it should be. So we're connected to the database and we're now ready to start running queries.